Well, they're finally trying to dig out across the street. With shovels. Still snowing. We're in a little band of snow that seems to be stuck over our area. But, uh, hopefully it'll be o over soon. It's about 11.30 a.m. now. Chickens trying to cope in the snow. This time was good and made some paths for them. Uh, if they can't see the ground, they for the most part won't go in it. But they have to get out of the coop. Because then the coop gets very messy if they're stuck in there too long. So, so far we've only got three chickens out. Out of, uh, two, three, seven, eleven chickens. <laughs> you think I could know how many chickens I have, eh? But, uh, yeah, there's spots out here where, uh, it's gotta be more than two feet of snow where it drifted. And I'm having trouble finding things that got buried that I thought I kind of took care of. So, yeah, we got more roofs to clear off. Amazing. I thought this was funny to share. I just opened my uh, my, my main door, and uh, that's how leaky my house is. The snow drifted in underneath, <laughs> underneath the back screen door. It's actually sitting on the lock, but that's how bad it was blowing. Oh, tried opening this door since last night. Oh, I can't open the door. <laughs> Well, let's see, there you go, we got about a foot of snow blocking my back door. Oh well. There's a grill under there. You can hear my son snow blowing, he's doing a great job. <laughs> so I can go out and hit your face. Okay, my little rant is really just about the fact that for some reason, Governor Deval Patrick decided to put the uh, state of Massachusetts into a state of emergency and implement a travel ban which uh, would incur a penalty of a year in jail and a $500 fine if you violated this travel ban and he said on uh, Friday that a thousand National Guard members were active and that as many as 5,000 would be activated this weekend. The reason I bring this up is this is New England. This is Massachusetts. We've always had blizzards. The last few years have been mild. But as I grew up since the 60s, blizzards were quite common. Yes, they would tell people to stay off the roads, and most people would. But this is very weird. There is no reason to keep everyone in their homes unless this is a test to see if we will comply with martial law. We sure don't need 5,000 National Guard troops in Massachusetts. We don't need them for a blizzard unless they'd like to come help shovel us out. This is a test, folks. This is a test.